Hello and welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality in the age of artificial intelligence. Today, in this infographic for Lab Robot series, we have two web pages. Okay, this is the first one. You can see there are a lot of charts. I am going to uh, explain in a minute. And the second one, which is uh, this one, like this one also, it has images for the first time. You can see the image of Lab Robot and there is some uh, radar chart uh, and pie chart and this is radar chart future the peril of perfection and are no longer a joke it's a question before we proceed let me tell you one thing if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe it means a lot to me and if you have already subscribed lots of thanks for your support the thing is what i want to say uh, here that you know what was once a silly sci-fi joke the lab robot is rapidly becoming a serious technological and ethical question initially it was dismissed as a fantasy right the idea has been resurrected by the two major technological leaps First, the development of powerful artificial intelligence, like large language models created a mind without a body. These systems have ingested nearly all of human expressions, learning the patterns of our language, thought and emotion. They can now generate originally, emotionally, resonant communication. Second, advancements in robotics have created the body without a mind Modern humanoids from companies like Boston Dynamics and Figure AI move with a lifelike grace using neural networks to learn and adapt to their environment. This is, the, this is less about me, uh, mechanics and more like a form of synthetic biology. Now, you can, you can just watch this page. You can watch this page. You can see that the inevitable Android dream from sci-fi to silicon and the public perception over time, conceptual feasibility in 2025, that is, it has created a serious concern among us, 90% concern among us that what will this, uh, what is the exact trend and in which way this human and robots are going. First of all, shift in viability, like exponential growth in AI capabilities, number Two is breakthroughs in robotics and locomotion. Number three is major investments by tech giants and building the vessel that is mind and body. The AI mind beyond chatbots. Okay. Social media posts, uh, live literary archives, scientific papers, code repositories, general web text. You can see that social media posts uh, occupy almost 30%. Uh, literary archives occupy almost 15%. Scientific papers occupy almost 20% and code uh, repositories almost 15% and finally the general web text that means uh, all the web pages like this it occupies all, uh, nearly 20% overall that 100% that means modern AI particularly large language models LLMs are trained on vast data sets encompassing the breadth of human expression and this uh, radar chart this human, humanoid body, graceful engineering, if you look at this point, this is 100, okay, this one 100 and this is 0. And here, modern AI humanoid, that means this red one, it has agility and balance almost comes to 90%. And human side interaction also comes to 85%. Fine motor uh, dexterity is 75%. Environment adaption is 95%. And power efficiency is 70%, which is a little bit low, of course. On the contrary, legacy industrial robot, they are falling behind because in uh, fine motor dexterity, they are only 30%. And this agility and balance is only 20%. Only the power efficiency is 70%, which is close to the modern AI human and robots. Therefore, human and robots are moving fast they are moving very fast without any challenge and in five years or in 10 years the super intelligence will make them 
super powerful. So the convergence, a new organization or not new organism, that is the AI brain development. Okay, so companies like uh, OpenAI, Google, and Microsoft, uh, Meta, etc., they refine LLMs on human language and logic. Human and body engineering firms like Figure AI or Boston Dynamics perfect the hardware and mobility. And integration and learning part, that means that is also very important because the AI is integrated learning to control the body and perceive through its sensors. Therefore, this partnership between Figure AI and OpenAI is a prime example of this process in action, aiming to create the world's first commercially viable autonomous human and robot. Okay. So, the ethical horizon is growing up because you can see here that perfect Android, that means familiarity with humans, etc. It is 0.95 percent perfect Android. Uh, for decades, near human robotics have been creepy as AI driven expression and soft robotics close this gap. Our emotional response shifts from revulsion to potential acceptance. We now we accept these robots. Okay. And of course, the hierarchy of the intelligence is, you know, this is the human baseline. Then comes artificial general intelligence and finally artificial super intelligence. Okay. And the roadmap does not end with human like robots. So where it will end, we don't know yet because in five years or in 10 years, it can uh, reach, uh, uh, it, can, it, can, it can traverse a lot of uh, road, a lot of, uh, okay. And you can see this photo, you can uh, see this uh, shift building blocks of a new rea reality. Uh, that means how the mind AI to robotic body, the body robotics, humanoids move with frightening grace. Okay. So the love robot, the concept of love robot is gaining popularity among people. This is not anymore a sci-fi joke. This is now a reality. This fantasy is a reality, although it raises a profound dilemma where does the magic of connection truly live because if a machine can access your memories understand your humor and offer comfort is its affection less valid simply because it runs on electricity is connection defined by the sender's biological neurons or the receiver's perception of care and understanding there are a lot of questions anyway the love robot is no longer a joke it is a question aimed directly at the heart of what it means to be human and the answer is arriving sooner than we think so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed Tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me. And please consider signing up for Membership Zone to support Wooden Slate so that we can make it better and better. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye. Take care and stay safe.